Last week, for the first time, they designed this experiment so that the fusion fuel stayed hot enough, dense enough, and round enough for long enough that it ignited, and it produced more energies than the lasers had deposited. About two megajoules in, about three megajoules out. This, we have taken the first tentative steps towards a clean energy source that could revolutionize the world. We've shown that we can create uh, ener more energy out than we put into the system. There's really three things that we need to, major challenges that we need to tackle. And those are sustaining those conditions for fusion energy to occur. Next, we need to develop materials that can withstand this extreme conditions that are happening inside our fusion power plants. And the third is that we need to demonstrate we can generate electricity. scale necessary to generate fusion power from, from their devices. And so in order to do that, you need to be at the scale of the ITER plant where we, where we are today. And when you get up to those scales, um, life gets very much more complicated. Mm -hmm.